Hey world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Today we are looking at the large CJRB Pyrite. Okay, now I got this one because I really like the way it looks. Okay, we have a stainless steel handle and we have the AR RPM9 stainless steel, which is a powdered metallurgy budget stainless, but it's quite awesome. Okay, um, for a blade. Then this is also a button lock. Very smooth, very nice, very snappy, very fidgety. Yes, you can middle finger flick it almost lost that finger over there um or you can just do it with the button however you ah, now i look like somebody struggling anyway now i like the look of this knife this is quite awesome okay and this is relatively budget um in south africa these ones are 1400 rand from the knife guy okay let's quickly look at the old pyrite or the original pyrite the small one now this one is the same um i quite like the stainless stainless same blade steel ar rpm 9 uh you're not gonna see that that's way too small maybe you can i just can't anyway but this one is all blacked out now i didn't want another blacked out one um so i opted for the big one now awesome knives love the blade shape love the handle it feels wonderful in hand nice and thin it carries quite nicely it feels heavy but not bad heavy it feels reassuringly heavy okay and then if you are into smaller knives then the small one is fantastic check out the review on that one i truly love this little knife okay but I truly love this one way more. We have jumping at the top. We have this beautiful flat ground plate. We do have a choil so you can choke up on it. We have a big handle so you can hold it nicely. And if you choke up, there's a lot sticking out. I cannot feel the pocket clip. In, well, I can feel the pocket clip in my hand, but it's not a bad thing. And because it's so thin and broad, you still feel like you have enough handle to use okay we do also get these ones in my car and we get all kinds of fancy flavors but i like this one um the stainless is not uh the most grip in the world but if you hold on to it it's not gonna go anywhere okay so i really like this one okay let's quickly do some specs yeah let's do that okay so blade length on this guy is what's that nine almost 10 centimeters nine and three quarter centimeters and then it is almost 22 and a half a bit less than 22 and a half centimeters and in inches it is uh three point six three point seven four inches for the blade and then overall eight and a half a bit more than eight and a half overall okay so it's quite a big thing but then the stock on the blade is not very thick so it should be a very slicey machine 2.6 i suppose that's two and a half actually 0 0.10 inches okay let's quickly compare it to a para 2 okay compared to a para 2 um it's bigger and longer in all dimensions okay and then if we look at it from the side it's even thinner than the para 2 blade stocks about the same okay and then wonderful deep carry pocket clip yeah that's nice the pocket clip i was carrying this the whole day it was my son's birthday today well the party's birthday was actually in the week um and yes i did not even realize i had it in my pocket every time somebody asked me do you have a knife with you today then i would say yes after i felt okay so awesome awesome knife nice and thin very nice carry awesome action awesome blade shape for everything okay so if you liked the little pyrite and this is a fantastic knife i'm sure you're gonna like this one even more okay i'm gonna call this now um <laughs> i think i'll oh, sorry i'm a bit snotty i don't know why change of seasons um, I'm going to show you some footage, well maybe I'll show you the cake that we had today and then maybe a braai we had last night. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So if you want to stay tuned for that, please do. All of you stay safe, happy, have a good one, goodbye.
Okay. Storting and dry. And we are doing ribs today in the big braai. Um, once this stuff looks kind of good, we'll add some briquettes and then we're doing ribs. Okay, and we have a Jack Russell. His name is Herzog. He's 14 years old and fat as a little taxi. And then over there we have our fire. Roaringly awesome. Okay, the ribs looked a little, it's two kilograms, um, but it's still a bit, so I added some chicken strips and I'll just add marinade on everything, and then hopefully that will be okay. Okay, so I have this little Ukapi flat, which is one of my favorite knives ever, and I'm going to use this just to see if I can slice this into and remember I still have to cut through the cartilage so this little knife is working quite well okay so I'm cutting this into little pieces check the cartilage do you see yes so it looks like there's no effort because there is no effort because this little knife it's fantastic. Anyway, so I'm cutting these things into pieces. Um, then I'm going to put them back on the fire. Not that they're uncooked, but just because. See the piece of cartilage? The copies? Rock. 1085? Magic. Bag two. Okay. Near me over a skein. Oh, I could do. Yeah. As you see, I can't get it seen. Yeah, my boy. Okay, so I'm adding some of this sauce to the chickens and I'm adding it to the ribs on the sides. I think you're seeing it, I'm not sure. And then, yes. Lost in and we're done. Okay, so on this festive note, I'm gonna eat all of this now. Um, yes, that's me. All of you stay safe, happy, have a good one. Goodbye.